Hey guys, we're now able to direct message any members on our team using this little plus sign, and then we can just type their name, and then bam, we can start chatting with them. But on Slack, whenever you start chatting with someone and you start sending messages, their little icon or name appears over here under direct message. So I should see like Bob too right here, and I can click on them, and I can open up our um, message history and start chatting from there also. I don't want to just like hit this plus sign every time I want to chat with someone. So that's what we're going to implement today. So I talked about in the last video real quickly about um, using the distinct keyword on uh, this query, so get team members, because I was worried about getting duplicate um, members. But you can't have two members, um, or you can't have the same member be part of the team twice. So I think we're good and won't have any duplicates. Um, but we will be using the distinct um, keyword in a little bit when we make uh, our next query. So how are we going to do um, this direct messages thing here? So one, one way to do it is to create another field or model to store every time we um, basically to keep track of who we've started a direct message, message session with. But I want to avoid creating more fields and more models. So the way we're going to do this is basically to just look at our messages, our direct message model, and see who you've sent messages to or received messages from. And then they'll pop up there. OK. So we're going to start by changing the schema a little bit. So we have our team schema here. Instead of members, I'm going to call this like direct message members and it's going to return an array of users. So this field right here is going to be the users that we display here. So now we're going to go to our resolver and actually resolve this field. So we're going to come down here to the bottom of our team resolver and I'm going to copy messages or not messages channels and we're going to do let's copy over that name direct message channel direct message uh, members and then here we have the team ID, the models, we're going to have a user. And now we're going to be doing a query. So we're going to do models.sqlize.query. Now we're going to just do a raw query because it's going to be the easiest to write out for this one. So we're going to select all. And let's move this down so you guys can see this better. So we're going to select all from users. And so we're going to select all users, right? And which users do we want to select? We want to select the ones that we have direct messaged with. So either we've sent a message or we received a message. So we're going to say um, join direct messages. And I did camel case. Yep, we use camel case for the name of the table. So direct messages. And I don't know if you've noticed how I have S's at the end here. Whereas I don't hear, SQLize automatically adds those S's there. Okay, so I'm going to use aliases. So users, I'm going to call you. And then direct messages, I'm going to call DMs. And we're going to be joining on two things. So you can either join on the, so of course we're going to be joining on the user's ID. And it's going to be the DM. And we're either going to be doing it on the sender ID or so or u.id is equal to dm.receiver id. And then we need a where clause. So for a where clause here, we basically want to see whether our current user is either the sender or receiver. And we want to make sure that we are selecting only messages from our team. So add parentheses here. Um, you saw above here that I used a question mark for this query. To do replacements. Um, you can also do named replacements if you're going to use them multiple times, which is going to be the case for us. So I'm going to do a little colon here and say current user ID is equal to dm.sender ID or current user ID and is equal to dm.receiver ID. And then we just need to do an and, and we're going to say um, direct message dot team ID is equal to team ID, and we're going to pass in the team ID and the current user ID as parameters or replacements to this query. 
Um, and so yeah, this team ID at the end is so we if we message a user in a different team, we don't want to fetch that user. So we're just locking that down here. So at the end here, um, we're gonna go similar to how we did above here. We're gonna make this a raw query. Um, paste that in. A raw query, um, we're gonna be returning user model. And then replacements, instead of using an array, we're gonna have an object. So current user ID, we're gonna pass in user ID. Then team ID, we're gonna pass in our ID. All right, cool, so we have our um, our thing right here, our property, our fields. Uh, we built the resolver for it. So now we just want to call this on our front end and then display it. So let's come on over here. Here is the me query, which we're fetching all the teams. So now we're just going to fetch all the direct message members. And I'm going to grab the ID and the username of them. And then in view team, for now, I'm just going to say console.log team dot direct message users or sorry members so we can just see who they are and let's just make sure I spell that right yep so I'm gonna click on general and we get seven so let's see if we make sure we get the right stuff so we get all these Bob thingies and we're getting duplicates the reason for that is we never said distinct oops and I talked to you guys about adding this in, and this is where we're going to be using it. So I'm going to say distinct on u.id. So what this means is we don't want multiple users with the same ID. So if you if we queried uh, the same user twice, we only want to display it once. And the way we know we displayed it or we have multiple is I want the ID um, property here. So distinct on, and then we're still selecting all. So let's rerun this and see what we get. Now we get Bob and Bob2, perfect. Because those are the only two users that I've sent messages to. So I've sent messages to myself because I'm currently logged in as Bob. And I've also just uh, messaged Bob2. So now on my front end, um, I want to use that and display that. So we're going to be passing. Um, direct message members in here and we're going to feed it into our, our uh, sidebar there. So we're already passing the team in so we can actually just come on over to our um, object here. So I believe it's in the, it's going to be in the sidebar I think and it's going to be in channels and we're passing in the team right uh, team name doesn't look like we're sending in the direct message. Oh, here we go users So instead of that I'm now gonna pass team dot direct message users So now instead of slack bot and user one we should see different stuff and that should be members. I keep typing users. Okay, and now in our channels, we just need to change how we're selecting it. So users.map, and then our users up here. Um, it's going to be username because that's the uh, field in the object. Cool, so we see Bob and Bob too. So next, when I click on that, I would like to be taken to the, my messages with them. So I'm gonna wrap this whole thing in a link. And it looks like I already have, yep, I already have a link. So we just need to go to. So where are we gonna go? Well. I want to take them to um, their direct message with them, which is view team. We can copy that in, slash user, slash, this is the team ID. So we need to somehow get the team ID here. And then also the ID of the user that we want to chat with, which we have right here. So this team ID, how are we going to get that? 
So we pass the team ID in here. So when we're mapping through our users, we're gonna say user, we're gonna call user by passing in the user and also this team ID. So now we have a second parameter to our user function. We need to grab the team ID. So up here, I'm gonna say team ID. So now let's see if I click on this, if this works. All right, so I'll click on that and we broke it because I didn't add a little slash in front. And go back. And we see no messages here and no messages here. So we have like a little problem. So let's fix that. So I don't know if you noticed this or not, we were getting different IDs than what we should be. Look up here, five. And if I come over here to our database and I connect to Slack and I select all from users, uh, my ID for Bob is one. So when I click on this, I should be taken to one here, but I'm not, I'm taken to six. So why is that? Well come back over here. So this actually has a problem with our thing right here. Our query here, it's actually returning the ID of the direct message and not the user. So here we're just going to say user.id and user.username. Now if there's anything else we wanted, we could also um, grab those fields as well. But those are the only ones that we really care about, so that's what all we're going to select. So now when I select this, hopefully we don't get six. Cool, we get one and two now. And notice when I click on these, we see the different messages pop up. So we'll just give this one last try. So what I wanna do is um, basically direct message with someone and have it pop up here. So I'm gonna invite a new person to the team, but first I need to create a new person. So register. So I'm going to call this guy Tom at Tom.com, paste him in, and now in my view team over here, I didn't log in so I'm still logged in as Bob, I want to invite Tom at Tom, and I want to direct message with Tom, oh I did, I did do that, okay so I just added Tom to the team. So I would have to refresh. If we wanted to, we could update the cache um, because direct messages was reading from the cache there. Tom. Um, so here's our message with Tom. Hey, Tom. Um, we need to add, add subscriptions to this. But if we refresh, we should see our message. And we see Tom pop up here. Nice. We do need to update the cache, though, when we send a message now because we want to see Tom pop up right away too. But we'll be working that on that in the next video. That's it for now. Thank you guys for watching and the code will be up on GitHub.